So now we come to turning. So again, we have some I point. We have some arbitrary at point out, out here in space. Right? And we have some direction we're looking. And for the Q and E keys, we don't want to move our I point you know, over to the left and keep our vector looking the same. That's what, that's what we had on our A and D keys. What we want to do instead is we want to keep our eye point, but now look in a new direction. Right? We want to rotate by some, I don't know, let's say five degrees. Then we want to, we want to rotate whenever we, we hit the key. So how are we going to achieve this? So what we need to do is to be able to calculate this new vector. So now you've got to break out your trigonometry to, to get to this. So let's establish a coordinate system. Let's put our eye at the beginning of this coordinate system. So I'm going to calculate instead of the real at point, right? Because the real global coordinate system is down in some other position, right? I'm trying to establish a new coordinate system. So I'm going to make a new point called at P, which is going to be the at point in the I coordinate system. So this is just going to be, this is the same as the direction vector that we calculated before. And this is, so this is the same as at minus i. So, so you can think of it as a point, or you can think of it as just this vector. Um, the reason I want to think of it as a point is because next I'm going to try to calculate this point in the polar coordinates so that I have it as radius and theta so that I can figure out how to get to a new point here so that I can set up my new vector. So we break out Wikipedia, and it tells us that in order to convert this, we have r equals um, direction dot x squared plus direction dot y squared square root and theta equals arc tangent of Right? Where, this, where this y x is the direction x and y. So now we have a theta and an r. Um, right? So this is, now this is my theta. This distance here is my r, my radius. So then what do I need to do? Well, I need to, if I want to rotate a little bit, I need to say theta equals theta plus 5 degrees. Now careful here, I've written this in degrees but very likely your arctangent functions are working in radians. So remember about keeping your degrees and radians proper. So we now updated our theta, and now we have to convert back. So how do we convert back? So we have our new x is equal to r times cos theta, and new y equals r times sine of theta. And then we, so this now, we have our new direction vector, right? So now we can reset our direction vector, D, is equal to new x, new y. And we now need to update this at point, right? So our final at point, our global at that we're trying to say. But our at is just a direction from the i. So now our final, our new at is equal to i plus this d. So this is how we get, this is how we handle turning. We have to use a little bit of trig and we figure out the new direction and then we, and then we set it in there. So you already know how to hook up keys. So you can now hook up keys in order to